Welcome to my channel's Striker 24 x 7 If you like my YouTube videos then Subscribe Click the bell icon Like Comment And share In this video, I'm going to show you few tips To secure Or harden the VC dial servers Let's see the major components of VC dial Number 1 MySQL or MariaDB Which is used as database engine Number 2 Asterisk Which is used as communication software to dial out and dial in number three apache which is used as web server number four linux the os like centos open SUSE, ubuntu used for vc dial installation number five astgui client the actual vc dial software in this video i'm going to focus hardening to these components related to vc dial operation first we are proceed with database hardening vc dial uses MariaDB as its database engine MariaDB server is one of the most popular open source relational database. With related to VC dial operation, there are few loopholes related to MariaDB configuration, which need to be secured. Number 1. Bind address. By default in VC dial or VC box installation, the MySQL bind address is set to 0.0.0.0, which means listen to all interface in the server. If you have public IP configured in the server, then it leads to outside access to the MySQL database. To avoid this, we can set this bind address to the local host address, that is 127.0.0.1. Or set the bind address to the interface IP, which is not configured with public IP. To set the bind address to local host, you need to edit the MySQL configuration file, my.cnf under slash etc folder. Use your favorite editor to edit the file, then add the line, bind hyphen address equals 127.0.0.1, under the MySQL D context. Finally update the VC dial configuration file with MySQL listen address. Open the file ASTGUI client own conference file and update the line, VARDB underscore server equals localhost or 127.0.0.1. Note, the bind address with localhost, is only applicable for standalone VC dial server setup. For cluster or multi-server setup, either use the private IP address, or use IP tables to restrict the database access, only the VC dial web server and asterisk server. Number 2, Default MySQL Username and Passwords. The default username and password used by VC dial to interact with database are, cron with password 1234 and custom with password custom 1234. As these username and password are well known in internet, it's best practice to delete these default usernames, and create your own users with complex passwords. So first delete these default usernames, by using the MySQL command drop, under MySQL root login. Next create a new MySQL user with a complex password, using the MySQL command create as shown here. Next, we need to provide it, necessary permission to the new users for the db, asterisk. Grant, is the MySQL command used to give permission. I have provided these commands in this video description. Just replace the username and password. Finally, we need to update the VC dial configuration file with our new MySQL usernames. Using VI editor open the ASTGUI client.conf file and update the VARDB fields with our new usernames and password, as shown here. Number 3. Default VC dial MySQL passwords. As said earlier, the default MySQL usernames and password used in VC dial are cron with 1234 as password, and custom with custom 1234 as password. If you want to change only those default password, you can proceed further or you can skip this option. Using the MySQL command alter, you can change the cron and custom user passwords. Note, use a strong password. Once the password changed, you need to update the VC dial configuration file with the new password. Using VI editor open the ASTGUI client.cant file and update the VARDB underscore pass and VARDB underscore custom underscore pass with our new updated password. Number 4, VC box MySQL root password. By default in VC box installation, no password is set for MySQL root access. Which means, an user can access MySQL without a root password. To secure the MySQL root access we need to set root password. Also disable the remote root login. By running the command, mysql underscore secure underscore installation, you will be promoted to set root password and disallow remote root login. You can also run, mysql admin command to change the root password. All these commands are provided in this video description. Number 5, VC dial default database name, asterisk. 
The default database name used in VC Dial is asterisk, which is well-known name and documented in manuals. It's best practice to change the default database names. Here are the steps to change the database name. Due to security reason MySQL doesn't support database renaming, so we need to proceed with backup and restore option. Step 1. Back up your current database using command MySQL dump. Step 2. Create a new database, example ABC XYZ DB. All these commands are provided in this video description. Step 3. Grant necessary permission to MySQL users to this new database. Note, I have shown here with users as cron and custom. If you have changed the default MySQL users, then replace with your usernames and passwords. Step 4. Restoring the MySQL backup to our new database. Use the command MySQL dump to restore the backup, as shown here. Step 5. Updating the VC dial configuration file, with our new database name. Using VI Editor, open the file ASTGUIClient.conf, and update the field, VARDB underscore database with our new database name. Step 6. Delete the default database with the name asterisk. Use the MySQL command drop to delete the database. Thanks for watching. Check out the part 2 video of the asterisk hardening. Link provided in the description.